guys. Saying hi to you with a messy room. Okay, my voice is kind of weird because I've been sick for like past four or five days. I'm drinking this like pear honey ginger tea kind of thing or yeah, you also eat the pear, so. I tested negative for COVID. I, as soon as I had sore throat, I made an appointment right away and our entire family got tested. So it came out negative. So thank God. So I think it's a flu, even though I got flu shots. I am in the process of decorating my office. Um, it's been forever. I started it and I don't know. It's just, I, it just was too overwhelming for me. Like what I have envisioned in my mind. I don't know if it's gonna come in real life and be so pretty, but part of the decoration would be one of the most popular trends these days is the DIY candles. Here are the inspirations. It's the cute shell-shaped candle and also the twisted twirl candles. Those are I really want. And also, what was it? The, the, the cube candle, but that's like a circular cube. Anyways, here are the pictures. Oh, so I ended up buying the molds for it. And also I won, I bought a bunch of like taper candles, which are just like the regular long candles. And I looked up so many TikTok tutorials and also YouTube tutorials on how to do it. Let's see how it went. <laughs> So I'm going to start with what you need. This applies to first and second DIY candle I'll be showing you. First, you need candle wax or regular candle to melt. Then of course a mold. It can be either plastic one or silicon one. Next one you need is wicks, which you can easily purchase on Amazon.com. And lastly, two cooking pots, which you are not using. It's easier if you just thrift them so that you don't have to really worry about it. And it's super cheap from thrift stores. So this is the day I first decided to use this mold since it was delivered to me the night before. This mold set did not have any instructions and it had this plastic mold and three thick elastic bands. I started out by placing the wick in the middle and pulling through the wick thread through the hole that is already there on the mold. After putting both sides of the mold together, I placed one of the elastic band in the middle so that I block the hole where the wick comes out and also hold the wick in, in the middle. Then I placed the other two bands on the side where the dent is already made to make the entire mold tight, not letting the melted candle wax spill out. As I gained experience in making this candle, I realized that it would be easier for me to make a hole in the elastic band uh, which goes on top of the candle mold, I guess, so that the end of the wicks can go through and make it secure to hold it in the middle, if you know what I mean. This method was way more stable. After you're done preparing, you start boiling and melting the candle wax. I put water in the bigger cooking pot and place the candle wax inside the smaller one and then place it inside a bigger pot. I use medium to low heat and slowly melt the candle wax. Don't use high heat level because the water will boil and candle wax and water will splash literally everywhere and candle wax is really hard to clean. After everything's melted, pour the wax inside a prepared mold. Then you have to wait around 4 hours or more so that it's completely dry. It is safe to just leave it for a while, don't care about it, and then later look back at it and see how it is. I forgot to film how I took it off, so here's another color shell candle I made. I started taking out the other two elastic bands which was on the side, then carefully take out the end of the wicks from the last elastic band and then open the mold. I cleaned the extra wax on the sides that kind of spilled a little bit and then I was done. Okay, so the first one I want to show you is this one. You know, I have a tendency of making a bunch of the stuff I make. I love it, then I make it, and then I'm like, oh, it's so not bad. It's like, it's super easy, so I make more, and then it's like, oh, um, it's hard to control. So I'm planning to give some of these away to my friends and stuff like that. But yeah, like I made a lot of these. But this one has like like a strand of short hair on in here. I can see it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, if I give this away, my friends or whoever gets it will be like, what the is this and be like oh she has a dna her own dna in yours <laughs> i'll keep this for just like decoration purposes the other two are pretty okay so we'll see 
Oh, by the way, because I don't know why, but like some of them are okay. It didn't cave, concave in that much, but like because I'd have to dry it like this, I think it maybe um, dripped inside. I don't know, gravity worked. You know what? These sell around $20, I think, on Etsy shops and all that. Unless you buy from like AliExpress, but the mold itself is like $12. And if you want to gift your friends, I don't think buying a mold is not a bad idea if you are like me who loves diy and also want to try making candles you should try the second one's very similar to the first one you just need to change the mold this mold is also from amazon but there was of course no instructions with it and no hole in the middle of the mold for the wick to to be placed at all i had to poke a hole in the middle of it with like a, just a needle and then make sure it's a little bit bigger but not too big so that the wick can actually fit in an exact size so that the wax does not spill out then i used the wooden chopsticks but mine already was broken and hot but it would be better if you have the one that is not used at all or broken in half but this one actually worked for me i kind of made it stable so that the wicks can stay in the middle like this and then i poured a melted candle wax and waited around up four plus hours then you are done <laughs> since the mold is made with silicone just stretch it out and peel it off like this but you have to be careful not to scratch the wax with your fingernails <laughs> Are these? Woo! I made way more, but I gave them away to my friends already. So I only have these two left. This is for some reason, I think it tilted a slightly. So it's like this. You can't really tell, but I can see the tilt. Um, and I also made with different color. I love this color also, the blue color. Um, it's so cute. I see some bubbles in here. So pretty sure there's other ways to do this. It's kind of, but I, I don't know. It's just cute. It's just for aesthetic vibe. At first, I think the first few tries, I just did it without the wigs for some reason. I'm, I guess I just wanted to see how it turns out. Of course, it didn't work. So I like Googled or I watched some YouTube channel. And a lot of those like molds, they people put like hole in it manually and then like put you know this odd thing out you have to put a uh, put a hole in so that it's not so big that you know it's gonna like the wax is gonna just leak out anyway so this is the end result i can't wait for my room to be complete with like decorations and everything and this can be displayed and it's gonna be so cute the last one, oh my goodness, is the twisted candle I really wanted. So I saw this trend on TikTok, of course, and I just saw that you just have to soak the taper candle, you know, the longer ones like this one, into warm or hot water for 15 minutes, and then the candle becomes more malleable and squishy, and then you just have to shape them like, like with your hand or a tool. I should have researched more because the first time I used water that is too hot, like boiling hot. So when I put the candles in, it melted too much and it was like stretching. It was just weird shape and it was just a disaster. So I ended up just melting them completely and you reuse them for other candles. Second try after purchasing more taper candles, I tried with less hot water. But I think the quality of the candle matters too because they are not really working for me again. It was really hard to control the temperature. I poured some warm water in a vase that is tall enough to soak the candle in and when the candle was more flexible able to be molded i used this jar to roll in the middle like flatten it and then try twisting it as you can see it kind of worked but it was making cracks in the middle making it look very ugly not very aesthetically pleasing so i was like maybe water is not hot enough so it's not really malleable enough so i added a little bit of boiling water to make it a little bit hotter but i guess the water was too hot hot <laughs> because the candles melted a little bit too much like so the surface area of the candle was like peeling off and it was really ugly so i think the candle quality was not good either even though the second batch is also from amazon it was a little bit more than just one dollar a piece but i saw on tiktok that you can actually get really cute colored candles like taper candles that actually work from hobby lobby for like 1.5 dollars so if you have access to hobby lobby go get them from there <laughs> also another advice is that you should only use the hot water that is like from your sink from tap water so that's not like completely boiling hot water but hot enough so that 
actually makes a taper candle a little bit more malleable and the next one because i had more candles i tried making this abstract weird shaped candle that i see everywhere but i think the water temperature is not working again or the candle was not good enough again so i tried to do it maybe i was being too strong with it like it, i broke it in the middle so i tried bending it and shaping them then i tried to connect the two candles of like what i had left after breaking in the middle and the bottom part of the taper candle so this is what i came up with <laughs> wanted this to be very successful and cute looking just like all the other tiktok tutorial or youtube tutorials i watched but i think i bought the wrong candle or i think i was not good enough with the uh, temperature of the water so you guys just use tap water and put it in like super hot temperature but those temperature is not like boiling hot so put that in otherwise you're gonna have all this like just melting away in like ugly form Oh, and this one, it's just created a lot of like crease here from far away. It's like pretty decent looking, you know, kind of similar to the one you I already showed you at inspo, but still it's like not pretty when you look it up close. So <laughs> I'm going to still just display like this on a candle holder, but it's such a failure. I'm like so sad. So here is the result. <laughs> But I'll put like other good tutorials uh, for YouTube and also like TikTok because they give you pretty good examples. So here is the ones. For me, it's like half successful. So I gotta be honest, I tried, bought so many taper candles from dollar store everywhere. So I don't want to waste more money. But yeah. <laughs> sad. I'm sad. <laughs> I forgot to film the outro, so here are all the results. I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial, and I'll be coming back with a DIY office makeover and house tour soon. See you guys in my next video. Bye!